J.J. McCarthy's the Michigan starting quarterback. This is the first uh, game in which he had the reins basically from start to finish. They played UConn. They beat him by a million points. There you go. Uh, but he's still, you know, you can see a noticeable difference between Cade McNamara and J.J. McCarthy. So, you know, what kind of a threat does this pose to Ohio State and the rest of the conference? Um in terms of talent level and production production on the rest of the team, add in JJ McCarthy to to maybe match CJ Stroud. I don't know. We'll have to see more out of him against a quality opponent. I think JJ McCarthy will be the best quarterback that Ohio State faces until maybe if they make the playoffs, the playoffs. He's got Stetson. Stetson Bennett, there you go, in, in the playoffs, or perhaps Bryce Young, or perhaps – no, it's probably just those two. Um, but he, he's he's very mobile. He can escape, and we saw what that did to Ohio State this past weekend. He's got a big arm, make all of those throws, but I'm with you. I, I just – I want to see it consistently against actual defenses, and we haven't yet. He played against Georgia last year. It didn't go well, but he was a true freshman. He's much more uh, experienced now has two starts under his belt. Now we'll see against Maryland, and it's a good test. You know, the Maryland defense is what it is, but um, I'm, I'm as interested to see what J.J. McCarthy can do and how consistent he can be, but also we know nothing about the Michigan defense. They lost Aiden Hutchinson. They lost David Ojabo. They lost their best corner, and, and they're starting linebacker, and, and so they're replacing all of these guys. We're trying to figure out what they are. Now let's see what they do against a Maryland passing game that has talented receivers, a talented quarterback, if they can protect him. And if they can't, then that's a good sign for Michigan's defense as well. I'm just interested to see what a passing game, an actual passing game does against this Michigan defense. And if Michigan holds up, you know, then you can start checking off boxes about how good the Wolverines are this year. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a believer in J.J. McCarthy. I think it was kind of a no-brainer decision, in my opinion, that he was going to be the guy that could lead the offense. But – Let's not forget that Michigan has played Orchard Lake, St. Mary's, Cass Tech, and a third high school so far in terms of their schedule. So, you know, let's see what happens when they go against somebody that's at least in the same area code in terms of, of talent. Um, I don't think that's necessarily going to affect what J.J. McCarthy is capable of doing, but as Tony had said, this the defense has not necessarily had to go out there and, and break a sweat. They probably have just been able to put their street clothes on after the game and go out, you know, to the bars and parties and everything else because they have not necessarily been tested by the likes of Colorado State and Hawaii and, and uh, you know, ITT Tech. So, um, yeah, it, I think Ohio State will face a little bit of a test when it plays Maryland prior to – to Michigan with, uh, with Tunga Valoa. Um, I think that, you know, with the receivers, with Raheem Jarrett, with uh, Dante Demas, uh, I, you know, I think that there will be some challenges there. But in terms of being kind of that full package, yeah, McCarthy is going to be, you know, <laughs> is, is the final exam in terms of what it is they're going to have to draw.